Many of you know recently I just acquired this KWA 1911 uh, gas powered soft air pistol. And one of the things, I'm going to do a review on this, but I'm going to do it more for a, the beginner's aspect and just some of the features of what to expect if you're wanting to get into airsoft as a training tool. And KWA is one of the top of the line pistols. So this is the box that it comes in. It's a really nice foam padded box with uh, closed cell foam. Fits very nicely. This is a just a high quality uh, product all the way around. Before we get started with the pistol, I want to talk a little bit about the instructions and just what it entails. The, the owner's manual is very thorough and you can go through it with all the details. KWA has a 45 day uh, warranty on their pistols which is unheard of in airsoft from what I understand. So uh, what happens when you return your registration card you automatically start your warranty periods. Some of the accessories you're going to find are a small pack of BBs. I have used about <laughs> most of the BBs. There was probably a hundred BBs in here and I used them before I even thought about using this as a uh, in a video review. There is a small bottle of silicone oil. Then there is the hop-up tool. And this little hop-up tool is to increase or decrease the gas pressure. And I'm going to show you that in just a second as well. Now one of the things I was specifically wanting in an airsoft pistol was an all-metal pistol. And this KWA Mark IV, it's the 1911 Mark IV. There are different models. This, the Mark IV does not necessarily denote the latest model as, as much as just a different version of their 1911 pistols. They started with the GI frame and then just move up to different configurations. I really like the Mark IV. One of the things too is it says professional training pistol right here on the slide and it is a professional training pistol. One of the things I want to mention about this is a buddy of mine who is a chief deputy in a local county, they ordered AR-15 soft air guns for their training for their SWAT team. So airsoft is a, an excellent training tool for self-defense and for law enforcement military. Now of course also there is a, a unique serial number on the gun and it is manufactured in Taiwan. The caliber is 6 millimeter. of course KWA right here on the frame. Now I've stated this in an earlier video but when handling any type firearm whether it's real, whether it's an airsoft, an airsoft does throw a projectile out. This is rated at about 350 to 360 feet per second. You can really damage your eye or do something. So you always want a safety check whenever you're just handling uh, any firearm or any kind of gun in itself, anything that projects something. You want to make sure that it is safe. This gun is unloaded and of course there's no magazine in it. Keep your finger out of the trigger guard even though it's airsoft, keep your finger out of the trigger guard. The other features, of course it has the serrations here, but it also has serrations on the front of the slide, which makes it very nice. We do have ambidextrous safeties with the extended safety. It does have a, a commander style open skeletonized hammer and then a very nice beaver tail with the memory notch. And then of course we have a uh, competition style skeletonized trigger. Of course this functions, the controls are the same as on any 1911 and you have your slide stop here, you have your magazine release here and of course we have the notch here for breakdown which this does break down similar to the uh, 1911 there's just no barrel bushing. It does have three dot uh, Novak style sights and at one point, I think the earlier model Mark IVs did not have a white dot in the front post, but I think they were getting a lot of um, people wanting to have that. So they've added the three dots, which makes it a really nice sight picture. Has the old GI style uh, diamond grips, a nice texturing here. Also, there's checkering on the front and on the mainspring housing, and it is a flat mainspring housing. It does have a mag well here that makes it really nice to load your mags. Also a Picatinny rail for accessories for a flashlight, laser, whatever you want to put on it. Now the gun will come with an orange tip barrel and that's federal law. Uh, a lot of people do get rid of that orange. 
I have just spray painted over this, but I am going to come back and take some acetone from what I understand is the best to use, and it'll just take that orange right off. You know, there's a lot of concerns about people, and kids especially, taking airsoft guns and it being confused with a real weapon. Let me say this, if you're brandishing a soft air gun, it needs to be the same way that you would use a real firearm. Really, these guns need to be treated just like a regular gun, and that's the reason why there are they are having some issues with some legislation about these being uh, clear or painted some bright, funky color. So, um, you know, responsible handling of this will keep that down. So it's really important. Now we're gonna take a look at the magazine. In this, the magazine is very weighted. It really adds a lot of weight to the gun itself. In fact, when this magazine is entered into the gun. It weighs a little over two and a quarter pounds. That is the same weight as an empty 1911. So you get the fit and feel of the 1911, which makes training just really hand in hand with the use of this pistol. Of course, it releases nicely. It does have a base plate here on the bottom. Uh, it does. This is where you load your magazine. There is a lock right here at the bottom where when you pull the spring down, it will lock, and then it will allow you to, to put your BBs, to replace your BBs into the, the, the magazine itself. This is where the firing pin will hit this spot here, and it will eject the gas and push the BB out uh, through your barrel. So this is the mechanism that, work, that functions the gun. Now, as far as propellant goes, of course, these are green gas, and there is gas made specifically to shoot these guns. But, of course, they found that propane works very well. The, the biggest difference is, is that propane does not have a lubricant in it, and the green gas has a silicone lubricant that the gun needs. So, for every five or six refills of your magazine, you're going to need to add just a little bit of the silicone lubricant right on the tip. And this will help with the gun, help with the life of the gun, and help it to function. Now, it's real easy to add the adapter onto the tank. You just turn it on, and then it tighten it down. Now, this part here, once you put it in the gun, it will push down and release gas into your magazine. And you'll want to do it in the upright position. There's a check valve on here that will keep you from overfilling it, but it doesn't take too long. Now you really need to use good quality BBs in your gun. This is uh, 0.25 grams, and that's the least that this gun should use from, from even on the box. It's even labeled that way. Uh, one of the things I've had a lot of different people say is not to buy uh, your soft air pellets at some of the, the generic department stores and uh, buy high quality BBs that, because they will function the best in your gun. Let me say that if you are going to fire your pistol indoors in an indoor range, you want to have ventilation because the propane can uh, does get, is strong and you definitely need the ventilation. Also, you definitely need to be wearing eye protection. It is very, it's vital. And these, these pellets are moving at very high rates of speed and anything can ricochet or happen, you need to be wearing some high quality impact resistant glasses. Now I'm going to disassemble this just real easily. It, Like I said, it does uh, disassemble just like the 1911. Okay, Make sure the magazine is removed. Bring the slide back to this first notch right here and then you push this button forward and this will release the uh, slide stop and then just bring the gun forward and then here you have your main your recoil spring system this is all metal it uh, it is really a very sturdy and nice system this is aluminum alloy and it's a nice feel to it it's not very heavy because it is aluminum and of course this is also aluminum in the bottom but it really looks very similar to the 1911 internally of course, to reassemble, just get that notch in line, put in your slide stop, back in business. Now, just a little bit about the hop-up tool. What you do is you pull your slide back. And then you enter this hop-up tool into what would be your chamber. 
and then you follow the instructions to whether you go up or down on your hop up to increase pressure or decrease pressure according to how your BBs are falling. But this will definitely, it's really easy to use and it just fits into the chamber and you can uh, adjust the hop up to where you want it. This KWA 1911 is just a lot of fun. It's incredible. It's really great if you want to just get out and target practice and get a feel for the functions of the gun. It's also excellent if you want to do tactical training, multiple magazine changes, functioning of the gun, drawing from the holster. But then it's also great for just gaming, and it's become a huge sport here in the U.S., airsoft skirmishing. So, you know, whatever, this is a really excellent way to shoot a lot for a lot less money than you do with regular ammunition. I want to say thanks to Airsoft Armada for uh, providing this pistol. And make sure you go by and check out airsoftarmada.com and let them know that Suit sent you. I'll also have their channel, their YouTube channel, in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. But I want to take that a step above. Dude, you're just not with it. You're not with it.